name is Sarah and welcome to Sand and Sea Tarot. This is a general love reading intended for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This reading may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to check out your other placements. Also, I'm offering personalized readings at this time, which are available through my website in the description box below. There will be an extended reading for this particular reading that is available only for channel members. The channel membership is $9.99 per month, which gives you access to all signs extended readings for each month. I will be releasing an extended reading every week, so that gives you at least four extended reading videos for your particular sign, but you'll have access to all signs. Also, for the first time that you're signing up for the membership, if you're on iPad or iPhone, for some reason you won't see the join button, so you'll have to go on a desktop to sign up. Let's get on with this reading. Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your reading. So first we're going to pull two cards from the Romance Angels deck. So we have Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So now I'm going to be pulling three cards. And this is going to be um, your current energy. Scorpio's current energy, please. Okay, so we have the Six of Cups, Four of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is Four of Wands. So Scorpio, I feel some really good energy coming from you. I feel like with the Six of Cups, you do desire for a past person um, to come back. So I think there's a former partner that, um, you know, you're wishing for like a second chance with. Um, this could also mean that possibly you've already reconnected recently with someone from the past or you want someone to reconnect from the past. I feel like with the Four of Cups here, you feel like um, with the Four of Cups here, there's the energy of feeling as though you have missed an opportunity. Um, you're kind of sitting in the regrets, like what would have, could have, should have kind of thought process about this person that you have on your mind. Um, I think you do a lot of fantasizing about this person coming back. Um, getting married here with the four of wands. That's what that indicates is that you do you do desire marriage um, celebrating like a really happy future with this person. But at the same time with the nine of pentacles here, you're also okay with being single, at least currently right now. Your energy is, you know what? I would love for this person to come back. This is someone I could see myself being married to. I kind of wish you know, things could have worked out. I wonder what would have happened if, work, if things had worked out. But yet, you know, I'm also okay being single. So that's like a good energy to be in um, without like full expectations from the other person. Um, for some of you, this codependency card may resonate and it may not. Um, but, you know, there is something, there is something that you feel like addicted to, that could be getting in the way of this connection. Also, Spirit has with the Keep an Open Mind card about that your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations. I feel like you are very set on this past person being your soulmate. It's kind of like you don't wonder if they're your soulmate. You know they're your soulmate. So it, I feel like you're dismissing that card that Oracle card to keep an open mind because you already feel like this person, this past person is your soulmate and you're not looking for a replacement. Okay. So now I'm going to be pulling some cards for the energy of your person, the person on your mind. What's their current energy right now? 
Where are they at in life right now? What's the energy of Scorpio's person, please? So this person has the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands. I feel like this person has been having a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of anxiety. They're really caught up in their head thinking about what it is that they want. Um, they could feel as though they have also messed up some kind of opportunity. They've missed their chance and they're having regrets about that. But the Knight of Wands here tells me that this person is persistent and even momentarily, if they felt defeated, this person does rise up and continue on with their with their travels, with their hunt for getting what it is that they want. Um, they do desire stability here with the Queen of Pentacles. That's the energy of someone that is stable, someone that's loyal, and um, someone that sees like the long term potential. Like they're in they're in something for the long haul. Here with the Ace of Wands, that's the card from the bottom of the deck. So that's kind of what's hidden. Um, something that your person doesn't even realize that they have the energy of or desire. Um, and currently that energy is saying that they want some kind of new start. Um, they want some kind of start that has a lot of passion, enthusiasm, just something really to be excited about. Like that's what they're looking for in their life to get out of that nine of swords energy and into something that is more exciting and fun basically. So I'm going to go ahead and ask, um, what is the energy around this connection with this person? So what's the energy about this connection for Scorpio and their person? Please tell us more about the situation. What's the current situation for Scorpio and this person? Give us more details. We have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Seven of Wands. The Eight of Cups. And the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups. So just a, remember, just a reminder that the bottom of the deck, that is something that's kind of hidden that neither one of you are aware of. So I feel like somebody has their defenses up. Someone is being very, very protective of their heart. Um, scared to get involved even wanting to walk away from trying to reveal any emotions because they're scared of this pain and hurt. Um, with the page of pentacles in reverse, that is that there's some kind of delayed communication, delayed opportunity. Usually the page of pentacles in the upright position would mean about an opportunity of taking things to the next level. It usually can be something, um, you know, long-term and stable, but here in the reverse, that does tell me that there is some kind of delay on that. There's some kind of delay on stability, some kind of delay on commitment, long-term um, commitment. The Knight of Cups here, so this is what's hidden. Your person doesn't know about this, this line, underlying energy. You don't know about this underlying energy, but there is an offer of love here. So, there is love that exists in this connection. There is the desire to come forth and reveal emotions of love. Um, and if, if it's not emotions that are being revealed, it's some sort of action to show love. I just want to clarify, what is that Eight of Cups? Why the Eight of Cups here? What is someone turning away from? What's someone walking away from in this connection? Okay, that was way too many cards. Here, please tell me what is someone walking away from this connection? Actually, let's ask a better question. Let's ask, is the Eight of Cups Scorpio's person? Major Arcana is yes. Is the Eight of Cups Scorpio's person? Okay, we have the three of wands, so that's no. So that means this represents your energy, Scorpio. So you feel like in the current situation that you've had to walk away from something that wasn't serving you. Um, tell me more about this eight of cups spirit. What is Scorpio walking away from? What is Scorpio turning your back on? <clears throat> okay. 
the two of wands. I think here is the energy of you've been asking yourself, Scorpio, if you should stay or should you go in this connection? Should you forget about this person? Should you move on? So there's this real indecisiveness with you. Um, we do have the energy of an Aries that's here. And also the Knight of Cups is a Pisces. Um, I'm trying to see who else we had before. Uh, Queen of Pentacles earlier was a Capricorn. Who else do we have? Uh, that's it. So Capricorn, Aries, and Pisces is who's showing up in the reading right now. So yes, I feel like, Scorpio, that you've, you've had to, you're asking yourself if you should stay in this, should you move on? You want this past person to come back, but yet there's still still some like big questions that are unanswered for you right now about this connection. Um, and I feel like maybe this Seven of Wands energy is you, Scorpio. I feel like maybe you're the one, if you're the one that is undecisive, I think you might be the one that's putting your walls up, your defense up, your defense. Your defense is up because you want to protect your heart. Let's ask some more about that page of pentacles. Why the page of pentacles in reverse? We have the six of pentacles. There's a delay like on stability with this connection because someone feels like maybe they cannot give right now or, either, or there's not enough balance or giving and receiving in this connection. Um, it could feel one-sided that someone is doing more of the work than the other. Um, so that's why there is a delay on this message, this opportunity for something new within this connection. Until that becomes like more imbalanced, until someone feels like they can give as much as they can receive. The next thing I'm going to ask is, what is hidden? What is something that you don't know about your person, Scorpio? What is hidden from Scorpio right now about their person? Spirit, please tell us something that's hidden about their person. What is Scorpio's person hiding? Mm, can't tell you. The High Priestess is all about secrets. Um, she's a mystery. So there is something hidden, and I can't tell you what it is, Scorpio, because this is the sign from the universe, God, whoever you believe in, um, that it's an unknown mis it's an unknown secret, unknown mystery. So um, I do feel like eventually you will be able to find out, but whatever it is right now is to remain a secret. Sorry to give you like a little cliffhanger like that, but you know, the high priestess is, is also about intuition. Um, it's possible that it could mean that your person is being very intuitive right now um, and they're listening to their higher self. They could be diving into spirituality. But I think the first image, the first message that I got when I put that down is that this is a secret. So it's to remain a secret, whatever it is that your person is hiding. So let's go ahead and pull a card to see how do they see you, Scorpio? How does this person see Scorpio? How does this person see Scorpio, please? Seven of Pentacles. So this person sees, they see a lot of growth and potential in you. They feel like maybe you've changed quite a bit since the last time that they've seen you, spoke to you. This could be a physical appearance. Um, you know, you could have been working out. You could have lost weight. Um, you just seem more attractive to them. But there is something that's on the outward, outward appearance that has changed. Whatever it is, your person sees that there's been a lot of growth with you. Um, they feel like maybe you've been giving yourself self-love. You've been nurturing yourself, kind of putting yourself first. They could see that maybe you are really into nature now. Maybe you really enjoy being outdoors. Maybe there's been talk about you being outdoors a lot, but they have seen some kind of physical change as well as like spiritual change in you too. So in the extended reading, I am going to dive into further details about how this person feels about you. I'm going to pull several cards about their feelings. Um, I'm going to pull some cards for what it is that they want with you and some cards for their next actions and intentions over the next few weeks towards you. 
Thank you so much for watching Scorpio and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.